Marcy brought her home to me. So you could babysit? I have my baby back. Forever. <laughs> Mom, I understand why you wouldn't believe me. I mean, I lied about using before. Does my son have to be handcuffed? It's procedure, man. Hey, look. Bubba, the kid's not going anywhere, right? You got my word. Okay. Thank you. Now, honey, tell me, what happened? Oh, I was a little freak. Freaked out after graduation, so I took off. I, I told you that. Right. And I went down to the docks to clear my head and get some air, and I ran into Asher there. Who? Kid who deals at school. How's that little weasel out in the street? His dad's lawyer got him off. Now he's back in business. How'd you end up with drug school? He gave them to me. I, yeah, I, I know. I, I, didn't, I didn't buy, but I took them. But drugs? No, I, I, I didn't actually take them. The, the guy put the bag of pills in my pocket. Well, why didn't you just give them back? Because he just walked away. And, yeah, so so literally I was holding the, the, the pills in my hand. And for about ten seconds, I, I thought about it. You know, I think about it even when I don't have drugs in my hand. You know, I, I, I wonder what it, what it feels like. I'm tempted. But I didn't. I couldn't. Because... I owe you and I owe Matthew. Yes, you do. And I couldn't do it to Star. And you can't do it to yourself. Yeah, but sometimes, you know, that's not enough. You know, I, I just think about all the people that I owe and, and then I stop. Mom, I swear. I swear on my, um, my baby's life that I didn't take the pills. Star, I'm sorry, but this is crazy. Marcy just dropped this baby right in your lap. Oh, it was like that. Well, she tears up the adoption papers. She brings Hope over here. Did she even ask you if that's what you wanted? Yes. I'm sure you knew that it was. I know how hard it was. I saw how hard it was for you to give her up. And then, see, you insisted that that's what you wanted. It was. And Marcy knew that. I just... I didn't want to break my promise to her. You know, and she could see how attached I was to Hope still. How much I love her. I thought Marcy was desperate to be a mother. Actually, um, she said that her and Michael, they realized that they would be happy whether they had a baby or not. <sighs> She's changed. So have I. I'm really ready to do this. You sure? Positive. Okay. But I can't raise hope alone. Will you still help? Sweetheart, of course I will help. I told you from the start, if you wanted to keep hope, I would do anything that you needed. Still? Because the look on your face. Well, I was in shock. Yeah? Yes, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know where I'm going to put her down to sleep tonight. Well, sweetheart, that's the easy part. No, we'll just get one of Sam's old cribs and bring it down here. You be real. Mom, that's not what I mean. What? I'm supposed to be staying at Dad's right now, but I want you to help me. I want to be staying with you. Well, y you will, because we kind of worked that out today in, in court. You did? You won custody? Well, sort of. Sort of. Yeah, um... This crazy judge ordered that we all had to live together, uh, including your father. No way! He can't do that! Well, I didn't think so either, but I guess he can because it's, you know, it's family court and they have this kind of creative leeway that they take. And he ordered your dad and me to live together and raise, you know, you kids together. We had to figure it out. This is like some bad reality show. No kidding. So what roof? Where are we moving? Well, that part hasn't been figured out yet. I haven't even thought about that. Yeah. What is he going to think when he finds out that I'm keeping hope? Cole, you were caught with drugs. You don't have a prescription. But the guy shoved them on me. Then throw them on the ground. 
Every two-bit junkie knows that. Do, do you know why the cop could even see the drugs? Because I, I had my arm up ready to throw them into the river. Yeah, I believe you. I believe you. Me too. Look, I'll take a drug test right now. Whatever you want. No, that's okay. If you're willing, I know you're clean. I am. I swear. Can you make this go away? That's up to Nora. Downstairs. He left already? He and everybody else. Oh, so weird. The party's over? I, I guess so. The house is completely dark, and I think Dorian and Langston must have gone to bed, too. I don't know what happened. Hmm. I don't know. You didn't talk to Langston or anything? No, I've been up here talking to Marcy this whole time. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'm, Cole's not here. It's really weird. He said that he would meet up with me. I wonder what happened. Oh, you know the drill. You violated your probation. I mean, that's an automatic remand and a full term. What does that mean? Cole would go to prison. And serve the full sentence for reckless endangerment in Matthew's accident. Nora, please. Uh, uh... Bo, can we... Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, you really, you can look the other way now? Well, Matthew is healing. He doesn't blame Cole. Cole's trying to heal. And I believe the kid. Well, I believe him too, but if the judge hears of this, it's automatic remand. I mean, you really want to stop this now? Hang on a second. Oh, I gotta check this. Nora Hannon. Thank you for being here. Hmm? Well, Bo, he really trusts you. I just hope it's enough. Mom, it's okay. Hey, no matter what, don't worry about it. Bo, is there anything we can do? Well, Nora and I talked about this. And, and it we doesn't both really feel... matter anymore, Bo. That was the judge who sat on Cole's case the first time. The arresting officer, he put the charges through in his computer in the unit and it went right to the judge. So. Cole is uh, charges of possession of illegal substances have raised a flag and everything's out of our hands. So that's it. I have to go to prison. 